no tornado conditions. You don't have that uh, up and down patterns going on. Uh, on the couch with me right now is uh, George Karunas. Uh, good morning to you. Morning. Uh, it says storm chaser on my piece of paper. You're an extreme nature chaser. Anything extreme involving the natural world. Uh, uh -huh. Tornadoes, hurricanes, erupting volcanoes. If there's a way that nature wants to kill you, I'm probably nearby with a camera rolling. <laughs> yeah, and it, like, and you're you're living this, and you live this before Angry Planet, the show that has been aired in over 100 countries, coming to the Weather Network again. Yes, in uh, May. Before that was ever aired, you were living this life, right? Like, yeah, I, I got the TV show because I was already doing these things, mm -hmm. uh, going to Hurricane Katrina, chasing tornadoes in Oklahoma and Kansas, rappelling into an Ethiopian volcano. That was just sort of what I was doing because I enjoyed doing it, <laughs> and now I've been, I've been able to make a, a career and lifestyle out of it. Convince me that you're sane in five seconds. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I, I think it's fascinating. You've seen some pretty important events. Uh, Katrina, one of, the, uh, one of the most frightening things you've been through? Yeah, absolutely. 12 hours before Katrina made landfall, it was a Category 5 storm. Uh -huh. I was in a steel-reinforced parking garage uh, in, in Gulfport, Mississippi, basically ground zero for the strongest part of the storm. I didn't know what was going to happen over the next 24 hours, and it was like being in a blender. Yeah, and that's the thing people don't know. I don't think what the categories are uh, when it when it jumps at one category. We're talking about a, a huge difference in the storm, right? Big, big difference. And actually, what happened with Katrina is it weakened at the last minute, down from a five to a three before mm -hmm. it made landfall. But it was already pushing this huge wall of water, and it was a Category Five level storm surge, and that's what caused all the damage. Yeah, the storm surge itself was the real issue. That's right. Um, but if it had hit. That's why they said that that's actually a lucky occurrence, Katrina was, dropping to that three. Because if it had hit at its full force five, like... Oh, it would have been much worse. And, and it, it was been, bad. <laughs> yeah, and if it had been maybe 100 kilometers or 80 kilometers to the west, the strong part would have hit New Orleans. New Orleans got off easy, believe it or not. Wow, isn't that amazing? So, uh, now tell me about uh, t chasing tornadoes. We talked about this just before we got on the air here. Uh, this is something that does not, you might be surprised, and maybe not if you know about weather, it's not something that's easy to do to, to make sure you can find the conditions, but it doesn't always happen. Oh, it's very difficult. It's like trying to chase a needle in a haystack, mm -hmm. but the haystack is moving at 100 kilometers per hour and, uh, and not paying attention to any of the traffic laws. Wow. And we have to try and predict uh, where the storms are going to be a day or two in advance. Mm -hmm. and navigate around these storms and stay safe at the same time. So it's very, very difficult. So it's also very rewarding when we're able to find one and send our reports in. So you're uh, in town. Where did you grow up? I grew up across the river in Hull. In Hull. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's so cool. <laughs> and that's where you started getting fascinated, right? Because watching the storms run the river is pretty impressive around here. Yeah, I remember riding my bike in, in local hailstorms and swimming in some flooded creek. So yeah. I was always interested in science and nature when I was a kid. And I just was able to expand upon that as I got older and had more time and resources and, right. and there's just no stopping now. Yeah, uh, now, now the Royal Canadian Geographical Society Spring Speaker Series tonight at uh, Centre Point Theatre. Tonight. And so people can come by and will you have like videos like this? Like I mean it's amazing. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to be talking tonight about some of my most extreme, basically the best of the best. Okay. So Hurricane Katrina, the crystal cave of Nika where it's 52 Celsius with crystals that are 10 meters long. Uh, Wow. Getting married on, an, on a volcano. All of these different stories. <laughs> that happened. You got married on a volcano. It's a true. very special lady, right? <laughs> very special. Very special lady who did that with you. Is this you skiing on a sand dune? Skiing on a sand dune in the Sahara Desert near Mali. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. amazing? So in anything Timbuktu. extreme, extreme heat, cold. Uh, you've swam with uh, piranhas. Swam with piranhas swam and sharks. Swam with sharks. Um, wrestled an anaconda. I think most people would think you're an adrenaline junkie. I'm not. I, at least I don't think I am. Okay. Um, I'm a nature junkie. Mm -hmm. I try to uh, document nature's extremes, and any adrenaline rush that I get is a byproduct of me wanting to get up close and documenting nature. I think most people know what to do in an extreme uh, case. We are not immune to tornadoes here uh, in this area at right. all. What, just from the expert himself, uh, number one thing you need to do if you hear it coming, and sometimes there's no mistaking it. It sounds like a train, people say. Absolutely. Um, if there's a tornado warning issued for your area, warning. that means there's yeah. warning, not a watch, They're a there. warning. Yeah. That means it's imminent or occurring. So you mm -hmm. need to immediately get to the basement. If you don't have a basement, mm -hmm. get into your bathtub. Mm -hmm. It's a good second choice. Um, if you're out in your car and you see it coming and it's not moving to the left, it's not moving to the right, it's just getting bigger, that means it's coming straight for you. Yeah. Get out of your car, get away from the car, get in the ditch, cover your head. Okay, there you have it. Uh, tonight, I want to give away some tickets to go see uh, George himself. 
at the speaker series. Amazing stuff. Ottawa contest at ctv.ca. And uh, tell me the name of the massive storm that uh, hit. This is an easy one that hits uh, New Orleans and Mississippi, Louisiana, Mississippi as well, and other states throughout. It was big. Uh, thanks. So cool to meet you, man. Uh, sort of living a dream of mine. Well, I like the fact that you're doing it. Anyway. Uh, Come along. <laughs> yeah.